Right, the first thing we need to do is remove the power sources, which in this case is going to be maze lead and the battery. Now, contrary to popular opinion, the CMOS battery on this Dell Latitude D820 is not hidden under the keyboard, but it's actually under the memory cover on the bottom of the laptop. Get the screw and done, pop that in there, and there you go. You can see the battery is just there. Just unplugs like so. Then we move the laptop out of the way and let's zoom in a bit. Now I need to see what is inside here. Trusty knife. Ah, it's a two o three two. So there we go. Just a standard battery. What I'm going to very, very, very carefully do is remove these metal prongs. There we go. Don't need that anymore. Nor that. And I'm going to need a 2032 battery. Um, uh huh. There we go. I think I'm going to use one of these Maxar ones. Yeah, that'll do. Get rid of these. Right, let's just flatten out. Just flatten out these metal prongs. Will do. Then what you need is some of this stuff. This is conductive tape. Okay. Do, 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 do. Right. So we've got the positive one there. The positive goes on the top like so. Let's remove that. So what I'm going to need is a tiny bit of this. I reckon that should do. This is the fiddly bit. Oh, he's done it. And you place a bit of this conductive tape on this metal connector. There we have it. Let's get a bit more conductive tape. Place it over the top and I think we can get away with another little bit on the end there. Look.
Oh, this is fiddly. Oh, got it. There we go. That'll do. Let's do the same for the bottom. That's what she said. Again, this can be a little bit fiddly. Oh, got it. that on there whoops perfect size Again, this is the fiddly bit. If I bend it back like that and then, yeah, there we go. I've got the knack now. Look at that. And then I get another bit. Oops. In the middle, I think. There we go. You never ever ever try and solder those to the button battery because it will just explode. Right, now we've done that, what we need is some of this stuff. This is heat shrink tubing. Okay, I think that's the right size. Look at that. So we'll do it so it's just a little bit because Let's do it to about there, look. Look at that. Put that back in there. Then what you do is you put that in the middle there. Now need a heat source. I have got a Wagner. That will. Here's my Wagner. Proper heat gun. Looks like a hairdryer, but trust me, it's not. Right. That's it. Just a few seconds, as you can see. That is now ready to be safely installed. Well, wait for it to cool down first. Right, that should be long enough for it to cool down. Time to put this bad boy back in to the laptop. There we go, it slots in underneath that plastic flap there just to stop it well, moving around. Put the cover back on. battery back in there we go right let's power on two to go in the BIOS there we go we're in right so we should now be able to go in here somewhere. There we go, date and time. It is definitely not December the 18th, 2016. It's definitely 2020. It's definitely April. And it's the 6th. And what's the current time? 
it's about 220. Do -do -do -do. Right, let's press escape. Right, see what happens now then. We should be all right, we should be good to go. Should be loading windows. There you go, it's posting. There you go, no more two beeps saying the CMOS battery is dead. Fantastic.